Hi from 4 Bio, chapter 7, video number 2. So last video we talked about the cellular respiration, but last video just for basic only, nah, almost nothing. Uh, from the last video, we also learned that cellular respiration can be separated into three sponge and sancho, aerobic, anaerobic, and fermentation. So now we start the first one called aerobic respiration, you yang hu si la. Okay, so where are you? Page number two, we are somewhere around here. Okay, and then go here. Go on, tell go lai, pao chi zhe bin. Okay, wo men zai zhe bin. Aerobic respiration. Sama jiao aerobic respiration. Okay, so aerobic respiration is a breaking down of glucose involving oxygen. Break down the glucose, jie suan ni de glucose, oxidize the glucose involving the oxygen. Yong yang chi ba na ge glucose ne jie suan deo. To produce a chemical energy, now transcend what's in it. Energy is used to oxidize the glucose to produce a what? Okay, oxygen is used, not energy is used. Oxygen is used to oxidize the glucose to produce the energy called ATP. Okay? So, oxygen is used to oxidize the glucose to produce the carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Transcend the energy, water, and energy. But how is the process of anaerobic? How is the process of aerobic respiration? So now, after the first sentence, we jump to another one. Okay, we jump to this part. Okay, so I'm using the diagram to make you understand. I'm using the diagram to make you understand. Then we're going to look at the sentence. So how is the whole process of aerobic respiration? The whole process is how is it? So for aerobic respiration, the process actually can be separated into two levels. Okay, 分成两回合 Okay, so for the first process, we call glycolysis. Glycolysis. Okay, glyco 通常就代表着那个 glucose. Lysis 就是解开 So for aerobic respiration, the first process is called glycolysis. Okay, what's mean by glycolysis? With the help of the enzymes in the cytoplasm. 我们用 cytoplasm 那边的 enzyme 来把那个 glucose 解开。Okay, so glycolysis the process occur in the cytoplasm with the help the enzymes and occur in the cytoplasm 在 cytoplasm 那边发生。So glucose molecule going to break down, broken down. Glucose molecule, glucose 的分子呢会被人家解散。So one glucose molecule will be break break down or will be broken down into what? 变成什么东西呢 ？Into two pyruvate, into two py pyruvate molecule, pyruvate pyruvate molecule. So during the glycolysis, with the help of the enzyme in the cytoplasm, glucose molecule, one glucose molecule will be break down into two pyru pyruvate molecules. So what's mean by pyruvate? Nah, ping tong swan. I don't know. <laughs> but after the glycolysis, after the glucose become pyruvate, what happened? 接下来什么事情发生呢 ？And glucose get the pyru pyruvate going to further oxidize. 它再一次的被氧化。Okay, but the process is not occur in the cytoplasm anymore. The process will be continue in the mitochondria. 就在我们以前一直讲到的 mitochondria 里面发生。So, glycolysis, 它把 glucose 解散 become pyruvate, and the pyruvate will be further be oxidized in the mitochondria. Okay, so it will occur in the mitochondria or mitochondria. And what going to happen? 什么事情发生呢 ？The pyruvate Finally, will be oxidized into what? Into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. It will completely be oxidized, turn into two oxygen, water, and energy. Okay. But most of the times, most of the time, in our chemical equation or in our words equation, we do chemistry when we write the equation. We usually write it like this: glucose reacts together with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. Because at that time, we are not in detail. That time, it is not complete. 不是你第二的，我们可以这样写啦。But in bio， 因为你是专家嘛，要做医生。Okay， so 你要两个过程。Glycolysis break down the glucose one glucose molecule into two pyru pyruvate molecule， 
and the pyruvate molecule will be further be oxidized inside the mitochondrium or mitochondria to become carbon dioxide, water, and energy. So this is a process called aerobic respiration. Two process dimensions are two different. Okay. Or oh, the aerobic respiration is simplified as follow. Okay. So aerobic respiration, we simply say it is how it is. Okay. For this diagram, it is not available, but you not. Okay, not available for you. You don't have this picture. So this is the diagram that I want to help you to understand. Ah, so aerobic respiration. It's the whole process. How is it? Okay. Temporarily, you don't have this, so don't be panicking. Ah, you 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 don't be panicking. Or another meaning, or another meaning, aerobic respiration. Okay. So after the two process completed, that the two process 就是那个 glycolysis, and also the oxidation of pyruvate, 对不对 So after the cellular respiration, after the glycolysis, and also the oxidation of the pyruvate, lah. So what going to produce? 什么东西会产生呢 It's going to produce carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. But now I want to mention the part called energy. 我要强调这个部分就叫 energy 啦啊！我针对那个 energy 要讲清楚一点点。So 我重复啊。During the cellular respiration, okay. So one ad adenosine diphosphate molecule, 一组的 adenosine diphosphate molecule, going to join together with the inorganic phosphate. Inorganic phosphate and finally become what? So ADP, this is called ADP, adenosine diphosphate. So after the cellular respiration, ADP is called adenosine diphosphate. It joins together with the phosphate, okay, and to become a new molecule called ADP. Lah, this is called adenosine triphosphate. Oh, this is what we just talked about. Cellular respiration produces energy, but the energy will be stored in the mo in the chemical molecule, 收成一种化学的分子 And the chemical molecule is called adenosine triphosphate. 啦，那个分子就称为 adenosine triphosphate. But where's the adenosine triphosphate come from? 它就是 ADP, adenosine diphosphate 跟 phosphate 结合变成 Okay, so. After the cellular respiration, ATP will be produced. Okay, and the ATP will be stored in your body, stored in the muscle, so then in the muscle, so then in the body. Okay, but during the cellular activity, 当你的细胞你在跑步，你在运动的时候 ，so during the cellular activity, what happens? The ATP will be used. 这个 ATP 呢就会被用掉。But how they use and they give you the energy? It's how they use and they give you the energy. It's how they use and they give you the energy. It's how they use and they give you the energy. Okay. ATP is going to decompose. This ATP of energy will be released. Become ADP plus phosphate. Okay. So during the cellular activity, ATP is going to decompose and release the heat during the cellular activity. ATP will be released. Just like this, it will come out. Finally, produce what? 就要产生什么东西呢 ？ADP plus phosphate 啦 ，together with the heat energy. So your body feel warm, and then your body 身体呢就变热了。Not very understand? 还不明白？不用急，我再重复。这个你也没有啊？再来。During the cellular respiration, 当细胞呼吸燃烧食物过后 ，What happened? ADP join together with a B to become ADP. Or this is a molecule that holding the energy. 就是这个分子呢，收藏着你的能量。And 这个分子就收在 mitochondria 里面呢。Okay. And during the cellular activity, 当你的细胞要跑步，当你要做任何的运动的时候 ，ATP will be used. 这个 ATP 呢就会被人家拿去用。But how they use? ATP going to decompose. 它就会解散。When the ATP decompose, what happens? 呢？ When the ATP decompose, okay, it will produce the ADP. It will produce a new thing called ADP plus the heat energy, plus the heat energy. So your body becomes warm. But don't worry about this ADP. This ADP is not worried. It is going to join back with the phosphate. Finally, it becomes ATP again. Later, your cells will burn fat. It will turn back into ATP and become ADP. So don't be worried. Okay, so you get the energy. You get that energy. 
understand? 不明白你就看回去了。Okay. So now I go to your notes. 我就看你的 notes 呀。Which part? 在哪一个部分呢？啊 ，this part. 这边。So, 用刚才的明白，现在这个呢是超爽了、啊。主要靠这个东西来明白呢，永远不会明白了。<笑> so the aerobic respiration is simplified as follow: ATP molecules are produced when a group of non-organic phosphate, okay, is added together with the ADP. So, 不 organic 的 phosphate 啦。Is add to the ADP, 跟 ADP 结合起来。So ADP 加到 phosphate, they will join together, become ADP. And ADP holding energy, 它里面有收藏能量了。So 细胞燃烧时过后 ，ADP 加 phosphate 就变成这个能量的分子叫 ADP. Okay, 再来。ADP molecule have the weak phosphate links. ATP molecule have a weak phosphate links. 那这个 link 呢，其实很弱的，很虚弱的，很容易解开的。So ATP molecule have a weak phosphate links. Okay, when the phosphate link on ATP molecule are broken, 当这个 link 呢一解开 ，the energy is released is supplied to the cell. 它一解开，那股能量呢就被释放出来 ，to help us to carry out our daily activity， 帮助你进行你的日常生活活动呢。Okay, so ATP. If I want to use energy, ATP is going to decompose, become ADP plus phosphate. At the same time, the energy will be released. 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 整个过程就是这样子了。哎，那这边总的来讲呢，不要让人写化学反应的情况之下，就是这样子。So glucose react together with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide plus water plus energy, and the energy produced will be two thousand eight hundred ninety eight kilojoule. It's a quite quite a lot, you know, 很多很多了。Per mol, 我没有抄是 per mol. Okay, so this is the aerobic respiration, 有氧呼吸。用氧气燃烧食物，产生 ADP， 而且产生很多 ADP。OK， 给你很多能量收在身体了。OK， that's all。So after this， we're going to study one of the very simple experiment， 很简单的实验 ，from one from two the standard。OK， but don't worry， next video going to tell you the experiment。拜拜。